Hey guys, Matt with Dry Fire Mag. Today I wanted to show you how our Dry Fire Mag works inside the, the pistol. So each of our Dry Fire Mags has to be designed to interact with moving parts inside of the pistol frame. The Glock has a trigger bar and our mag has a lever that interacts with the trigger bar. So when the trigger bar travels backwards, it pushes our lever backwards and interrupts the reset. So I'll put that in now and show you just how that works without the, the top on it. What this is doing is preventing the trigger bar from locking all the way back to the rear and pushing it forward. And it's also adding its own break and own reset. So it's simulating the effect of the trigger, which we tailor make uh, for custom poundage. But as you can see, as you pull it back here, you end up with it locked to the rear, no reset. Put that all together now and show you what that looks like. Checking for ammo, of course. Good. Now on this first pulp, it's going to be using the firing pin mechanism inside this. So the first one will be much heavier. After that first one though, feels really, really good. And that's how our dry fire mag works.